Wedding video is one of the most difficult things because you cannot redo something. You have to get the perfect shot at the perfect moment and you only have one chance. I'm always looking for the atmosphere. I'm always looking for the best light I could have. And I try to combine this within my photography. Light is everything, specifically for wedding films. That's the most tricky part because you have no control at all. I don't bring any artificial lights. I only use natural lights, so you have to adapt a lot. I really love to have the sunset light or the after sunset light because we love the movement in her hair, we love the movement in her dress. This is such an amazing feeling for me as a photographer. It's such Gold. I love the in-between moments the most when people don't notice me as a photographer. And this is why we think empathy is very important during a wedding day to give them a good feeling so they can be themselves and this is so important. In order to get the most emotion you have to care about people and talk to them and create a relationship with the couple and be part of the celebration. In order to tell that story, you have to be there at any moment and be aware of what's going to happen. I don't want to think about my gear. I just have to think about my composition, about the emotion, about what's going to happen next with the Z6 II. Everything I need is in one bag. I don't use gimbal because I think it's too heavy and we have a lot of uh, walking and running. So I, I really use a minimalistic set. It's very um, important to have the flexibility of a camera which is reliable for me and the Nikon Z7 II is really the perfect match to my work and to my style. I can immerse into the situation, I can immediately get my shots I need because it's so flexible, it's so easy to handle. Sometimes I don't have uh... A precise idea of what I'm gonna do so I try things like I try to mix wide shots and close shots change the angles the focal lengths and uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but uh, you learn from that you have to adapt to the personality of the couple because if you have a, a very expressive couple and people who uh, likes to dance then you know you're gonna have to shoot more dynamically it helps a lot to have all these technical advances. If you get a camera with any new features, it makes your wedding day very easy. So the IAF and the face detection changes completely the way I shoot because it's very sharp, it's very fast. It focuses on the eye and I can focus during a busy wedding day totally on the emotions of the couple and on the guests. During sunset, when it's the golden hour or after light, when it's getting dark, I can just increase my eyes so I have a super quality. When I switched to the Z system, what I noticed immediately was the, the color and the, the image quality. It looks good, it looks natural, but also you can grade it like you want. I use ProRes RAW for big projects and some high quality projects. This is a codec that is really flexible. If you're a little overexposed, you can keep the information. If you're underexposed, you can keep information too. And for color grading, it's such a pleasure. You can do whatever you want and have that cinematic look. Slow motion in wedding films sometimes is overused but when it's well used it gives you some more dramatic atmosphere and uh, you can go up to 120 frames per second and I'm really excited to be able to use 4k 60p for slow motion and also uh, something I love about the Z6 II is the double slot SD and XQD I think that's something that's really important especially for weddings it's very important to have the second card slot because it gives me security. I can focus totally on the couple, on their emotion, on the moments, on the in-between moments, on the, all the guests.
for me, it's an absolute advantage to have the new Z-series of lenses. The quality is amazing and they are very fast and they are very light. The Nikkor Z lenses impressed me. They are really sharp, they are really compact and they are like magical, like no other lenses I use. The fact that they are really small is really something important for me because they are light and they are not frightening the couple. The 85mm is my absolute favorite lens and I have this very soft light always behind. It's very sharp. I love the bouquet. I love everything about this lens. 50mm is very natural. It's my to-go lens. I can use it for intimate group shots and I also can go closer and can get the shot of the emotions as well. The 35 is, is definitely my favorite lens because you can do everything. If you have the ability to move with it and, and get the right composition, you can have close-ups, you can have wide shots, so you can be uh, physically further but closer with the lens and uh, you can have uh, details and, uh, and emotions. I love destination weddings because it's always nice to be surrounded by different people, by the culture. Like the shoot this morning, we love to have this dynamic shoot, but we also love to have the light. And this is what we are always looking due to our experience. I think the wedding film is very important for the couple because they can relive the day. And there's something magical about the, the memories you get in, in that film. But it's also a lot of pressure because you have one shot and they are counting on you to give them the best film they ever saw. And they have most of the time highest expectation. Yeah, this is so nice to see the reaction of the bride or of the couple because it's always just a wow moment. So they are always very surprised and amazed by, by the result. When they see the film, usually they cry. And when they cry, we know that we've done good work. And that's what we look for, to be moved and touched by what they saw.